All right, so, so far we have gone ahead and journalized those adjusting entries. We posted those adjusting entries. So now it's time to create an adjusted trial balance. So in order to do this, we're going to need our general ledger with all of those updated balances. And we're going to need the adjusted trial balance. Go ahead and resize these so we can see them. All right, so again, same as before when we did an unadjusted trial balance, we have the company name, the title of the trial balance we're working on, and the date. So now let's go through those balances and update everything. So cash, 12,300 debit, accounts receivable, 8,700 debit. Supplies, we're down to 200 debit. Uh, prepaid rent, 1,000 debit, equipment, 4,000 debit, accumulated depreciation is a 1,000 credit, accounts payable, 400 credit, salaries and wages payable, 270 credit, uh, notes payable, still 1,000 credit, unearned fees, 1,500 credit, Jonathan's capital account still has 15,000 credit. His drawing account has 1,000 debit. Fees earned, 11,200 credit. Salaries and wages expense, 270 debit. Supplies expense, we used 800 of supplies, 800 debit. Rent expense, 500 for rent expense. Telephone expense, we had 200. Advertising expense, we had 400. Depreciation expense, 100. And the only blank one we have on here is miscellaneous expense, zero. All right, remember, just like last time, the normal balances should work for each one. And our debits also should equal our credits. If not, something definitely is wrong. And 29,470 equals 29,470. Looks like we're good to go. All right, so our next step is going to be the financial statements. Uh, there are three financial statements, so we'll see if we can fit that into uh, the next video. All right, see you there.